Today I'm going to show you how to make shadow puppets and a theatre to go with them. For this activity you're going to need a box. I used a brown cardboard box to make this theatre. I used a cereal box to make this one. And as you can see I've got them resting on boxes as well. I also managed to make a theatre out of this Wellington boot box. Um, other things I used were the ruler and scissors, pencil, sticky tape, double sided tape here, parcel tape, I needed a black pen and my compasses were useful. I also needed some sticks and pencils. I'll talk about those a bit later. First of all, I'm going to show you how I made my first theatre box over there with a brown cardboard box. Then what I did, I was able, because it opened here, I was able to cut the piece out here, not too near the edge, I left an edge around. Now I did use use a knife for that because it's very thick cardboard so if you're going to do that you will need an adult to help you and then i was able to put this paper this is tracing paper here i was able to stick it inside to make my screen then i sealed the box up and i made a hole in the back where my light's going to go and I made slits either side for the puppets to go in. And then I rest it on there and I've got my light source at the back there which is a lamp. And that fits over the hole there. So that's how I did that one. And obviously it's quite big and as I said the card is thick so you will need an adult to help you if you're going to cut one like that. I'm going to show you how to make one out of a cereal box because you're more likely to have one of those around, I think. So with that one, because I couldn't get into the box to stick the paper inside, what I did is I made a hole and cut through, cut the, the hole out there and then stuck the tracing paper on top. So I've got one here, I'm just going to show you. Oh, I did it. So I drew the rectangle where I wanted the screen, used a ruler and a black pen to do that. Then I made a hole in the middle and started cutting out towards the lines. And so you can do that just with a pair of scissors. And cut. And just cut all the way round till you've got a rectangle cut out. I'm not going to do it all now but you can see what I did. Now I've already measured the tracing paper so it's the right size to cover the hole and go around the edge there and I've fixed double sided tape to it or you could use glue and then that will be able to stick over the top. Then all you'll need to do then is stick up the box with some strong tape. Um, then you'll be able to cut your slits in the side for your puppets. These need to be quite near the front, quite near the screen that I've worked out, not, not at the back, just at the front there, and just big enough for your puppets that you make. And then you'll need to work out what you're going to use for your light source. If you've got a lamp like mine, and work out how you're going to get the, the hole in the right place so the light will shine through. So on this one, it worked out like this. Put that there, rest of this on the box. This is a lamp on its side. I've managed to prop it up and put it there and the light will sh shine through there. So it does need a bit of working out there. You could try a torch, you'd need to rest it on something. But I have found out that the LED torches don't really work well for this. You need one, a more old fashioned kind of torch, I think, for this. 
Right, so it, that is a bit complicated, working out where to make all the holes and everything like that, but that is what I did to make my theatre. Right, and I did use, for this one, I used baking parchment to go on it instead of tracing paper, because you might not have a big enough piece of tracing paper, and that works just as well with the brown baking paper, so you might have some of that. The other thing you could try is tissue paper, but it needs to be a light colour and it is a bit fragile, it's easy to tear, the tissue paper. Now I'm going to show you how I made my puppets. So I made most of them using black card. These are the first ones I made. There's a butterfly and I've got the two chickens there. That's those ones. And here I've got these ones I didn't actually make. I had these wooden shakes at home already and I've just stuck sticks on them and pencils to make into puppets. And this came from a pack as well that I happen to have. It's not black, but it still works because it's thick card. Black seems to work best, but something else that's thick um, and the light won't show through is good as well. And here I have some um, Gruffalo puppets I made out of black card again. Right, and you can see I've attached sticks to them with quite strong tape. These are diffuser rods, reeds that I, I had. I haven't been in any oil or anything, they were clean ones. So you might not have those at home, but you would have a pencil, I think, so you could try attaching a pencil. Uh, or maybe lolly sticks. For this one I used two and joined them together because it needed to be longer. You need some kind of stick to hold it with. Right. Now these um, ones I, I found for the chickens. I found the pictures online and used that for a pattern to make my chickens. This one it was a shape I had. I just drew round it. For my Gruffalo ones, I actually traced the pictures from the Gruffalo book. So I found a good example, the one that was the right size for me and a good outline and traced them from there. I think that's, uh, that was too big, that Gruffalo, but I found another picture of the Gruffalo that was about the right size. There it is there. So you need to trace round it and then use that as your pattern to make. That is quite fiddly. So um, to start off with, I suggest you do something simple like a butterfly or a fish or a bird, um, just to try it out. All right. Um, right. The other thing I thought you could do is to make your own, just draw your own dragon or monster. And then it won't it won't matter if it's what it looks like because it's your design it won't have to look like something else and i thought you could use your puppets to make a show for the rest of your fam family i'm going to show you now um, how you can use your puppets to do uh, a little show so what i've done is i've put the puppets through the slots at the side there i've got the light on at the back and I've got the puppets there. If there's two of you, then one can stand one side with a puppet and one, one the other. If you want them to come off, they'll have to come off backwards, which is a bit complicated. Then, so I kind of hope you can have your own fun and moving the puppets around and, and making a show for your family.